A boolean is a simple representation of a truth value. It can either be true or false. So if we have a variable called is complete, we can assign either true or false to this. And the true and false are the predefined constants that come with PHP. And they are also case insensitive. So you can set this to true or lowercase, or you can use all uppercase, or you can mix and match uppercase and lowercase letters. Though I highly recommend to just stick with one and stay consistent, I personally prefer all lowercase, so that's what I'll be using. Booleans are mostly used within control structures like loops or if-else conditionals. Don't worry about the control structures for now. We'll talk about those in a separate video, but it would look something like this. If is complete, do something, otherwise do something else. And what this means is that this section right here will only evaluate if the expression evaluates to true. Otherwise, this section will run. Now, what do I mean by an expression evaluating to true? This, for example, is a variable and the variable is set to true. So this evaluates to true. And there Therefore, this section will run right here. If we were to set this to false, then this section would execute. Now, there are other data types that could be converted to Booleans on the fly by PHP, and they could be evaluated to either true or false. For example, integers 0 and negative 0 will always be considered as false. Same applies to floats. 0.0, .0 and negative 0.0, .0 will also evaluate to false. Then we have strings. If you have an empty string, this will also evaluate to false. Or if you have a zero that is a string within quotes like this, it will also evaluate to false. An empty array, for example, like this will also evaluate to false. And the special type null will also evaluate to false. Anything else pretty much will evaluate to true, even the negative numbers that are not zero. So let's test this out. If something evaluates to true, let's print out success and otherwise let's print out fail. Right now is completely set to false. So if we refresh the page, we say fail. Let's set that to true. Now this will say success. Now let's set this to an integer number five and this will say success still because five evaluates to true. We can set this to negative zero and this will evaluate to false and it will print fail. We can set this to an empty array and this will evaluate to fail as well. We can set this to a non-empty array and this will be success. Now, how can you actually print the Boolean? Now, one way to print it is by using conditional like this, where you don't actually print a Boolean, but instead when something is true, you print something else like this, for example. Another way that you've seen before is just simply echoing out the Boolean. So if we echo out is complete and set this to true, it will echo out as one. Let me comment these out for now. And we see one. If we set this to false, we see nothing because it's just an empty string. Now you saw this in previous video, but why does it actually print an empty string for false and why does it print one uh, for true? The reason for that is because when you're printing something on PHP, it will try to cast it into a string. So it's essentially doing same thing as this right here. It's just you don't need to specify string in here. And when Boolean is cast into a string, false becomes an empty string and true becomes one. And we can check that by using var dump. So let's do var dump is complete and we see that it's boolean type with a false and now let's convert it to string by using the cast and we see that it's a string type with zero characters in it so that's what happens when you do echo is complete and if we do this to true this becomes string with a value of one. So as you know, var dump is one way to check the type, whether it's string or integer or Boolean. Another way to check a uh, type for a Boolean is by using a function called isBool, and that will return true or false depending on whether the variable is uh, true or false. So in this case, if we var dump the value of isBool, it's going to return false because we're casting it into string. If we change this back to true, now it will return true because it's a Boolean value. If we change this to an empty array, this is false. And one more thing I want to mention before wrapping up this video is that if you have a string that's equal to false, you might think that this would evaluate to false, but it would actually evaluate to true because as mentioned right in here, anything that's not an empty string or a zero, it will evaluate to true. So even though this says false here, this is not an empty string and it's not a zero and therefore this will evaluate to true in here. So if we refresh the page, we see success. This is it for this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about integers. So thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, share and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.